shit. Oh my god, my first death already. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hello, welcome to Deals X Mankind Divided. I'm Ty Ward. How's it going? So, as you probably follow on Twitter, um, I've received a copy of the game three days before the worldwide release, which is on this Tuesday. So, I thought to myself, Titan, shall we just, you know, upload that video one day before the actual release of the opening walkthrough? I saw, yeah, why not? I was originally going to have Titanfall 2. I mean, there's like a couple of new games coming out that sort of got me into a bit of a frenzy so I thought to myself should I should I just do this early or should I just wait till the actual release so do you know what I never done this before I'm gonna play this record it and upload it a day before it comes out so yeah anyway um, I've never played a dual sex game before but I've seen all the previews and the trailers and the demos um, at ETX and so and so I was visually impressed with the whole concept and Graphically, it looks amazing. It looks a lot of fun. Um, so, if I'm really interested in this game, then I could probably get the Human Revolution as part of my retro collection as well. Yeah, I was aware of the Deus Ex games. It's just I don't know why I never played them. So I thought, let's give this a go. Anyway, Timefall 2's video will be tomorrow. Um, so at the end of the video, I did mention I'm going to play this today. You know, but. Just ignore what I said there. So I'll put a link in the description of the Dinos X video, like when Timefall comes anyway, so you know. Alright, I was going to say spoilers, but because I, we're doing an opening walkthrough, I thought I'd give everybody a heads up, you know, just to see, just to get the last impressions before you get the game. But I'm sure most of you will get it anyway. So, without further ado, let's play. Okay, just so you know, this could be a full playthrough, so... When there's cutscenes, I'm going to mute the narration, my commentary, and I will leave the commentary for the gameplay side of things, okay? So you can guys enjoy the story. Anyway, let's begin. The year was 2027. Advances in biotechnology were helping people improve their physical and mental abilities to an amazing degree. Provided, of course, they had enough money. A new breed of people was emerging. Half human, half machine. And in Detroit, at least, not everyone was happy to see it. I just landed a job as head of security at Seraf Industries, a cutting edge biotech firm. David Seraf himself handpicked me for the job, said he needed me to keep his people safe. My ex, Megan Reed, was one of them. A brilliant neuroscientist, Megan had found a way to make augmentation safe and affordable for everyone. All she had to do was present her research to Congress. But the night before her big meeting, my security measures failed. A team of Black Op mercenaries stormed into Sarah headquarters, massacring everyone in sight. Three of the mercs were heavily augmented walking tanks. Their mission? Take out Megan and her team. I tried to stop them, but their leader tossed me through a plate glass wall. Last thing I heard as his bullets slammed into my brain was Megan's dying scream. I should have died with her. Only I didn't. High-end military-grade enhancements saved my life. The best augmentation Sarah's money could buy. It took me half a year to get a feel for her. Should have taken longer. But six months into my recovery, Sarah Industries was attacked again. This time, by a radical group of pro-human purists. Violent, militant, and fanatically opposed to human augmentation, they claimed to be members of Humanity Front, a non-profit organization that wanted the UN to limit biotechnology research. The thugs broke into Sarah's factory and found machinists working overtime on a top-secret military augment called the Typhoon. Sarah sent me to retrieve it, and when I did, I found one of the so-called purists next to it, wired with cerebral implants, trying to download its classified specs. Obviously, something more was going on. The Og killed himself before I could question him. Sarif ordered me to dig deeper, 
So with the help of Frank Pritchard, Seraph's head of cybersecurity, I did. Turns out a second hacker had been controlling the AUG's actions from somewhere off-site. Pritchard and I tracked his signal to a secret FEMA internment camp in Detroit. The Black Op mercenaries were there. The same mercs who'd left me for dead six months before. Figured they'd try again when they saw me. It wasn't so easy for them this time. I took out the tank named Barrett. Even got him to give me a new lead. A penthouse apartment in China. Of course, we both knew it would be a trap in the end. Hengsha Island, China. Home to a city so crowded, they had to build a second city on top of it. Trying to find clues in Hengsha wouldn't be easy. Lucky for me, I wasn't alone. Farida Malik, Seraph Industries' ace pilot, had lived in Hengsha before. A good person to have on your side. She knew enough about the place to get me around. Malik dropped me in the lower city, close to the penthouse Barrett had told me about. Bell Tower Associates, a private security firm under contract to the Chinese government, had agents tossing the suite when I arrived. Just not for the reason I'd been expecting. Turns out the man who lived there was a criminal hacker named Van Bruggen. The same hacker who'd been remotely controlling the AUG in Sarah's factory. Van Bruggen's panicked decision to force the man to commit suicide had been a mistake. Now his mercenary partners were gunning for him, and I needed to find him before they did. Locating Van Bruggen meant playing nice with the Triads, Hengsha's organized crime lords. They had the hacker holed up inside a low-rent capsule hotel. By the time I found him, Van Bruggen had no qualms giving up the woman who hired him. Zhao Yunru, president of the Taiyang Medical Corporation. According to Van Bruggen, Zhao wanted to monopolize the augmentation industry and had hired black op mercenaries to destabilize her competition. Seraph Industries was at the top of her list. To prove this, I needed to get inside TYM and grab a surveillance hologram off a server. I suspected Van Bruggen was hiding something when he told me this, but nothing could have prepared me for what I saw. Megan wasn't dead. She and her four best researchers had been kidnapped, spirited away somewhere while their kidnappers made it look like they were dead. Desperate to learn more, I confronted Zhao in her penthouse. She claimed to be a pawn in a bigger plan, and hinted at a group so powerful it controlled global interests at a whim. Then she slipped into a panic room and hit the alarm, forcing me to make a very quick exit. I figured Zhao was lying, but part of her confession made sense. David Seraf had been worried about his people. So worried, he'd required all of them to have subdermal locator devices surgically implanted. The GPLs would have been broadcasting the day of the attack. But Zhao sent a single call to Picus, the world's leader in global 24-hour satellite news, and turned those signals off. I needed to fly to Picus headquarters in Montreal if I wanted to learn more. Eliza Kassan, Pikus Communications' first lady of news. Malik thought I was reaching when I told her Eliza was involved in this. The world's most famous news anchor, working with a mercenary hit squad. But when I confronted Kassan in her office, she freely admitted to jamming Detroit satellites the night Megan's team had been taken. Said she's just been following her commands. I suspected she wanted to say more. But Black Op mercenaries showed up, looking to shut us both down. And just like that, the Eliza I'd been talking to disappeared. The mercs were led by an augmented killer I crossed paths with twice before, Fedorova, a woman who'd made silence her best friend. She waited for me to track Eliza's transmission to a secret server room underneath the Pikus complex, then jumped me from behind. A deadly fight ensued. I made sure she never moved silently again. With Fedorova down, and no one left to keep Eliza quiet, she reappeared. Turns out Pikus's first lady of news wasn't a lady at all. She was a sophisticated AI program, 
engineered to monitor data streams and control what people believed. Liza told me the Mercs had brought in a humanity front doctor named Isaiah Sandoval to remove the scientists' implanted tracking devices while Detroit's satellites were down. She also told me to speak to David Seraph if I wanted to learn more. By the time Malik and I got back to Detroit, tensions between normal and augmented citizens had reached a flashpoint. Riots were breaking out in several cities. The UN was being urged to intervene. Seraph was trying hard to convince Hugh Darrow, the inventor turned philanthropist who'd once been a leading proponent of enhancement technologies, to help stop a possible regulatory vote. Seraph had a lot riding on Darrow. Megan's discovery would have given millions of people the chance to evolve beyond their normal human abilities, and at the same time, catapulted Seraph Industries to the top of the Fortune 500. According to Seraph, Megan's kidnappers knew this and didn't want people evolving unless they controlled how it was done. He called his enemies Illuminati and urged me to keep searching. Determined to do so, I tracked down Sandoval via America's most outspoken augmentation opponent, Bill Taggart, Sandoval's boss and founder of Humanity Front. Sandoval admitted to operating on Megan's team when I confronted him, but said he hadn't removed their GPLs. He'd merely switched them to a different frequency. Pritchard was able to trace one of the signals to China. Malik and I immediately took off in pursuit. Unfortunately, the Illuminati were one step ahead. Ambushed. Shot out of the sky by Bell Tower Associates, seconds after entering anxious airspace. Malik's piloting skills saved me. After a tense and bitter struggle, I escaped into the bar and shot. The tracking signal I was following led straight to the triads, or more specifically, to the augmented arm of Tong Si Hung, leader of a gang of augmentation harvesters. Tong said they'd taken the arm off a corpse, which Bell Tower had left at their door, meaning at least one of Seraph scientists was dead. Maybe not the rest of them, though. Tong pointed me to a port used for human trafficking and helped me slip aboard a Bell Tower ship. We were sailing to Rifleman Bank Station, a military base in the South China Sea. Bell Tower was holding kidnappers there and using them to perfect the Hyron Project, a human computer interface that left most of its test subjects dead. My search for Megan would have ended then, if not for a mysterious ally named Quinn. In exchange for my help exposing Bell Tower, he slipped me aboard a second ship headed to Singapore and an Illuminati-run biotech facility called Omega Ranch. Three of Seraph's scientists were there, forced by their captors to create a technology capable of remotely shutting down augmented abilities. Thanks to an emergency recall notice issued by the World Health Organization, millions of people all over the world already have the biochip installed. With the help of the scientists, I tracked Megan to a private section of the ranch. There, I ran into Yaron Namir, the walking tank who put a bullet in my brain the first time we met. He'd teamed up with Zhao and was hoping to catch me off guard. But the little ambush didn't work. I found Megan in a suite belonging to Hugh Darrow, the billionaire philanthropist who Seraph had called on for help. Dara had convinced her to go along with the biochip plan by promising to sabotage the tech. As she was explaining this, Darrow appeared in a global broadcast, telling the world that augmentations would be the death of mankind. Then he activated the biochips to prove his point. All over the world, augmented people flew into a killing frenzy. Darrow had betrayed everyone, and it was up to me to set things right. To do it, I had to reach Panchea, a massive installation in the Arctic Ocean. As I raced through corridors built by an all-augmented workforce, I saw death and destruction firsthand. By the time I shut down Darrow's broadcast, I knew the damage he'd done. Still, humanity's future remained unclear. How would the world react to this sabotage? Would people ever regain their faith in augmentations again? What would be the Illuminati's next move? Only time 
Give us the answers. now, Hansa. Are ya? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen! Am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex-Bell Tower, one of the Special Forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military-grade augments to terrorists. This is Aran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. But three years he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jin an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle a buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts that party. Is Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft. Here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware, just to be sure. Okay, non-lethal. We've got a UC right. in there. Might be easier to maintain his cover if he's not the only one still All breathing right. when this is done. Yeah. Smart thinking. Okay. Yeah, but if anything does happen to him, you'll be telling his wife. After you get out of the hospital, of course. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Uh, what should we have? A distant weapon? Or should we have a short range? Uh, I, like, I like to be distant. Well, I'm not looking so. to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Singh that way. 
One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the Jin out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your happy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. Task Force action. By 2029. Engage house drives and descend to Angels 1-5. I like that stance. It's like he's ready to kick ass, basically. Right, there we go. He's pulling a just cause free move. And see, that's the Square Enix tradition. Alright. Alright, here we go. Finally some gameplay. Team it was a bit of a long... I think that was a back... Roger that. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, hold on a minute. I think that doesn't record that bit. It's actually from the PS4 controller. I think you just heard the bit. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can do something about it. Audio. Yeah, speakers. Okay. Right, let's go back. Okay. Right, okay. So, here we go. Okay. Oh, press circle to strike. Okay, here we go. I have to crouch through here. Uh, how do we get up? Ah, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute, I'm stuck. Hold on a minute. No, wait. There it is. There's a vent. Hold on a minute. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, I've hold the square. That chain. Let's try to swap um, weapons. Right, here we go. Right, up the ladder. Right, there's a throwable pylon, but let's not worry about that. Let's climb up the ladder. Okay, so far so good. Right, grab. And then drop for now. I have a feeling you could use these items as an advantage. Right. There we go. Jensen, we're moving through. Oh, fuck! What's wrong? The Jin have got a few gems what? up and running. We're gonna have to hack keypads. Should enjoy it, McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. Fuck you. Okay, hold. Right, so switch. So use L1 to switch to the augmentation wheel and equip the smart vision which is right at the butt and then push the down arrow to assign mm -hmm. should probably know all right and then exit so let's push okay now as you can see the smart vision can actually detect you know something in which you could if you get stuck perhaps with your smart vision could use weakness to your advantage to get through, you know, to where you get to be. Like, you know, like there's a crack in the wall which, you know, can easily be smashed into. So, right, so now it's locked. You have to use the keypads, which is disabled. So, let's have a look and see what we got. Can we get onto ledges like that? 
Oh, oh wait a minute. Right, restore power to the key pads. Okay. But how do I do this? So there's a toolbox. Okay, I'm just exploring a bit here. Uh, hold on a minute. There's, there's a vent right there. Okay, hold on a minute. Right, there's the generator room. So we need to drop down and drop down. I think that's where I need to go, right? Yep, there we go. Right, so now we've got it on. Oh, we can't go this way. Because that would be death otherwise. Okay, so crouch down. And let's get to... Hopefully, we should use this. Oh, um... Let's hack. Right, so use the L to move to the node ahead. Right, okay, that looks very complicated. So, let's try this. Um, right, so, I'm pushing X. Right, I'm fortifying it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold on. I'm doing something wrong here. Right, okay. So, heck. So, use L to move to the node ahead. So I don't understand. It says press X to capture the nodes. Ah, okay. Right, it's that one then. Trace uh, hold on a minute. I don't want a minute. The diagnostic will trace back to the eye open. Move. The uh, I'm confused. Hold on a minute. Now down here. No, wait. Quick. Okay, capture. Access there we go. Granted. Hey, there we go. We've done it. I was a bit thrown off at first. That's a lot of fun, though. <laughs> right. Press the square button. Right, okay, let's enter the tutorial mode. Right. So move to the green hologram and press L to take cover. Okay, aim in the cover next to the green hologram with R and press X to move from your current cover to the next. So there we go. Okay, that's something I can do. Right, move L in the direction of the green hologram. Press X to roll from cover to cover. Right, okay. There we go. Oh, hold on a minute. No, wait. Hold on. Move to cover to cover. Hold X round the corner. Hold on, what am I doing? Okay. Okay, use R to aim at the next. Okay. Oh! No, I think I'm happy with that. Okay. So now let's do it. Okay, so there's some guards over here. Right, so look out for the icon. Right, okay. I should face this, no problem. Let's vault. Let's vault over to the next cover. Okay. Now. And then press R3 to 
take down. And there we go. That's easy. Right, we've got 10 Trooper 20 miles of soul. I've never played this, so... we got a pistol, so let's just take the pistol. Right. Okay, hold on, can we just search? Uh, body manipulation. Right, let's just go, let's just go. Right, hold on, take cover now. Wait, I think I might got caught. Uh, can we just... Uh-oh. No, turn around, please. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Please, turn around. Turn around, come on. Turn around. Go. No, Alfred. That was close. Yeah, just got caught. But I don't know. Quick. Take over here. There we go. Right. Okay. Right, now let's think. Let's go over here. What are you doing? Press X. Okay. Ah. Right, move over here. That's it. Oh boy. I think I messed up. Do you know what? That was quite tense because I thought I'd gotta get caught and but I've managed to take down the bitch anyway. Okay. Oh, we got another keypad to use. So let's hack. Right, so what we're gonna do is capture. Capture. Wait, capture. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Capture. Capture. Granted. We've done it. We've done it. If you don't fancy hacking, you could try keypad Jensen, as well. Mac, Maybe you could up. search. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy. There we go. We've got some ammos in here. Uh, go for. Wait, it's locked, isn't it? No, it's not. Nice, Rai. Credit ship. I wonder what that's used for. That looks slightly open. Drop. Okay. You can't even pick up that um, tin there. So there's an elevator button. Uh, let's go to the rooftop. Hold on a minute. No, wait. That is the rooftop, so we need to go penthouses. Okay. There we go. How long does this elevator take? Ah! Okay, so there's the stealth. Right, let's enter the tutorial mode just to get the idea. Alright, here we go. So, R1. So, press the left to activate the glass shield cloaking augmentation. Okay, so go over. Make silent. Let's take down the bitch. Ah, I like this. I like this. There we go. Right. Um. Right. Okay. So we now need to reach the holograms, but I don't know what. Okay. Right. Hold L two while aiming at an NPC to use the. Leader Mark Tracker Augmentation. Aha! There we go. Can we shoot the bitch? Go on. Headshot! Let's 
slow mo here. <laughs> okay, pick up an object and R2 to throw. Right, where's the object gone? Right, that's a paint bucket. I don't need to do that. Okay, that's pretty much standard with that. Okay, hold on a minute. Right, let's just. Ju no, I don't want the vault. It's L1. Okay, right. Use this. Quickly go over here. What? That bitch just walked away from me. Not enough energy. Uh, okay, right there we go. Still, so far so good. Take all the credit chips. Can we take down? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. There we go. Who wants a piece of that dick? Right, okay. Right, okay. Right, let's, uh... What is this? A machine pistol. Right, let's just... Oh, hold on a minute. Okay. Go over here. L1 is cover mode, right? So far, so good. Right, okay, there they are. There's like... Let's go over here. Right, combat. Okay, so let's just... Uh, right, so L1. Hold to open. Use R2 to use a hydrostim injector and boost the health meter. And go back. Okay. So let's point over here. Oh, he's he's blowing fireworks up in here. Okay, that's it then. Right, reach the whole ground over here. Oh boy. Right, press or hold R1 to throw grenades. Okay. Wow. I actually thought it was gonna blow up, but no, it's a smoke grenade. That must have been a deadly toxic smell. And now we're going over here. We've done it. So now we're gonna do it exactly again. And I've got a trophy, so I've done. Okay. Um, so what am I going to do? Are we going to do it? Hold. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. McCready, how you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone's took the fucking cemetery down here. Take down. When the shit hit the fan in 27, that rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. Okay. Right, let's quickly your go find the cover again. You want me to grab you any spare parts? Listen, no it's parts. up to you how you want to play the game. I mean, this game is designed for, like, for good stealth action. But, um, it's up to you. You want to be in combat? You can be, you can do combat. If you want to be stealthy, you can be stealthy. I actually like to be stealthy because it's a lot of fun. But, I mean, in some situations, I feel like stealth is not an option. So, but it's up to you how you want to play it. Right, here we go. Right, we've got the next bit. Now we've got that bitch over here. The problem is, we have to do cover to cover because we can only reach that far. I suppose if it if it's right, here we go. Right, let's uh, go over here. Hold for a bit. That's it. And go to this cover. And then go take that cover. We'll do cover to cover just to get an idea. Uh, okay. Right. Oh boy. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go for it. It's just only him. Just only him. Me likey. Right, okay. 
There we go. Right, let's do this. Jensen, watch your 20. Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the Jin's communications booster. If you can, disable it. Roger that. Roger that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, right, there's a lot of guys around here. Right, let's move over here. Let's, uh... Okay, there's some guys. That's the problem. Let's just... Oh, okay, yeah. Now we've got a bit of problem. Um, so we're gonna have to drop down here. No, what are you doing? Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't like this. Quick, take the bitch out. There we go. I'm getting the hang of this. Okay. Right, what's next? Let's do cover to cover. I want to try being stealthy. I don't want to go too quick though. I don't want to go too quick. I'm hoping these motherfuckers would try coming over here. Okay, right, let's go over here quickly. And grab cover. Uh oh. Ah, uh, okay, I got caught. Right, let's run out of here. Let's run out of here. Right, take the cover. Right. Hold on a minute. Oh no. Running so fast. Oh boy. Oh no. Quick, get out of here. Take out. Oh ho ho ho. I like it every time we take down some not enough energy. Uh, okay. Over there! Oh, hold on a minute. Listen up everyone. Chang's hacked into the Jin's radio right. Okay, hold to gain some health. Checking the patch now. We should be hearing sing any second. I need to be up high. No. No. Doesn't work. Solid copy. Good. I'll read patches once a deal. Take down that bitch. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, my first death already. There we go. Right, that's one of them. Oh, oh goodness, I cannot see again. Wow, look at look at the flashbang. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Right, let's try. Stay still. No, I don't believe this. You will die, Becky. No, you'll die. Right. Come on then. Come on then. There we go. Okay. Right. Easy. Easy. No. This bitch has to move! Okay. Hold on. Right, come on then. Do it. That's it. No, you're not down. Okay, no, he's down. Okay. Right. We want this next bit. Did you see where he went? Go over here. Okay. okay, right, here we go. Right, okay, I think we're down to the last two already. Take cover now. Like that. 
I like that. I like that. Okay. Right, I'm going over this way. Oh boy. Okay, hold on a minute. I got, let's take down the bit. We should be hearing sing any second. Okay. 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 Health, but slowly. Yes. Solid copy. Good. I'll repatch us once the deal kicks off. The bitch is falling asleep now. Okay. Right. Don't know. That's it. Right. We're gonna move forward now. And we're right here. Open the door. Jensen, we're inside oh, the but... taking up positions on the terraces. Um, What's your twenty? Still moving. Well hurry the fuck up. Enemy helos no. inbound Come and the on. sandstorm's getting close. Stop. You get that comms boost disabled? Negative. Didn't find it. No, wait. Well you better hope Singh's cover stays intact, otherwise you'll be answering to me. Okay. He seems to be taking this time with the tranquilizer. Right. Okay. Okay, that's the objective point now. And there's another keypad to hack as well. So, let's do this. Next one. Next one. And then next one. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Gonna stop the worm. Access granted. We've done it again. I don't know if I find it easy or not. Okay. This is Jensen. Penthouse access route secure. Jin shouldn't be a problem. Over. Copy that. About fucking time. Enemy helo sighted. Strike force, position and hold. Strike one, in position. Strike two, all set. Strike three, yeah. Strike four, in position and holding, boss. Eyes up, safety's off, guys. Yeah, no shit, Brown knows. Watch your fucking mouth, Halliday. Both of you shut up. Five in position. Everybody stay sharp. Singh's got eyes on Shepard. Patching you in now. Targets in the AO. Remember, Sing's down there, so watch your fire. You got balls, Sing. Executing a buy with a sandstorm on her ass. I cannot take credit for Mother Nature, Mister. You can call me Shepherd. How biblical. Are these the weapons? The Orgs. They're getting harder to come by. Guns are still on the chopper. Show me the cash, quick, and we'll... Oh, what the...? The pod has been crashed. Shepard is dead! What? By who? What's going on down there? Miller, this isn't the gin. Repeat, it's not the gin. They're after the weapons! Open fire! Open fire! Weapons free! Open up our... Creed, Jesus. make it a grab for the chopper. You got a shot? Negative! Negative! We're under heavy fire down here! We can't let that chopper take off, Jensen! I got it. This is bad! They're closing in! We're gonna lose Singh! Jensen, I can't Okay, reach him. so... Right, hold on. How do we do this? Elevator call. Jensen, Let's go to the atrium now. I just bought us some time, right, but you on. need to disable that chopper. Copy that. Should we go straight to the chopper? Drop the weapon. Oh, it doesn't look like it. We have to go the long way round. Should we just go? Yeah. Take down. Hey, here we go. 
Right, I like it when there's a sandstorm. Oh my god. Like, just run. Can we just run for it to the chopper? Take down, take down. There we go. Just go straight to the chopper. There's a sandstorm. Don't worry about them. Just go straight to the chopper. Start the chopper from the Egypt. Where do I need to go? How do you do it? Right, there's a hatch. Miller, chopper's been grounded. Repeat. Disable the battery. Jason. There we go. You're welcome. Shit. What have the events in Dubai cost us? They knew the risks. How many assets did we lose? All of them. The sandstorm didn't help. The mission was a success. Clearly, your scale for success is a generous one. However, the erratic nature of the attack could work to our advantage. Interpol will be confused for weeks, and with our continued guidance, the people will come round eventually. We are all in this for the long game, after all. That's never changed. You think so? Do I need to remind you all how far we have veered off course? The Og incident has caused a schism in society. Things are worse than we projected, and growing more unstable every day. This will not be tolerated. To ensure the success of our vision, the disruptive elements must be excised. No one here disagrees with you. But let me fly to New York and I will personally evaluate the situation. We may already have the votes we need to ensure that the Human Restoration Act passes. Very well. Stanton, you accompany. You may need to exert financial as well as political pressure to silence Anyone opposed? Proceed. Elizabeth, I'll contact you later. It won't succeed, Lucius, even with Dowd's money. Do you know what Rand will find in New York? Weak, ineffectual men. And with Nathaniel Brown still an unknown factor. Of course. That is why we're proceeding with our ultimate strategy. 
You have claimed much in the past, Mage. This is your chance to deliver. Everything is in place. We can initiate whenever you wish. I'll secure your communications, Bob. Jaina seems to have eyes everywhere these days. He and his juggernaut collective... Janus won't be initial. I've made arrangements. I laid the foundations. Now it is time to get everyone's attention. Page, activate the sleep cell. Stanice, Růžičkovo nádraží. Příjezd za pět minut. Jensen, just getting off the train now. Copy that. We'll debrief when you get in. You're coming straight to the office? Unless there's a problem at a checkpoint. Your papers should be in order. Just keep your head down. Miller out. Sweetie, you get my message about Dubai? Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Adam. That ambush sounded pretty bad, man. Not something I was expecting, that's for sure. Any idea who hit us? Well, I'm sure your task force will come up with something. And that it won't be what the Juggernaut Collective digs up. Kinda odd, though, don't you think? Interpol sending your team, the Prag team, to Dubai in the first place? Miller said they were scrambling. Last minute intel. We were the only strike team available. Yeah, well, that's a lie. Better get moving. The Collective has been keeping tabs on all task force divisions ever since we slipped you into one of them. They've got a team in Oman. And they're a hell of a lot faster than you guys. So why send us? I don't know. The task force is an Illuminati front, we all suspect. It doesn't make much sense to send it into an ambush. Unless they wanted our team to see something. Officially. Don't make a scene, Adam. Wouldn't dream of it, Alex. It's gotten even worse here in the past few days. Everyone looking over their shoulder. Terrified dogs like us are going to attack them again. Somebody probably will. Treat people like animals long enough, they'll start acting like animals. You say that like there's nothing we could do to stop it. I already tried two years ago. It didn't work out so well. So what? Are you saying we should just give up? Let hatred and prejudice take over? To hell with that. I'm saying I can only go after enemies I see, Alex. The men who caused all this, the true power brokers, they're the ones I need to stop. I thought you knew that. I do. You, me, the Juggernaut Collective, we're all trying to stop them. It doesn't mean turning a blind eye to Then help me find them. Just one. 
Watch yourself, Glenn. I hate this city. Come on. If you're right about Dubai, about the Illuminati needing your team as witnesses, then we need to find out why. Who gave you the order to mobilize? Miller did. But it probably came from someone higher up the chain. Doesn't mean he's not in on it. Ever heard of the NSM? A neural subnet, sure. In TF-29, directors use it to plan ops and communicate privately in cyberspace. What's this? Whisper chip. Custom-made wiretap device. Janus is it to fit inside the NSM's motherboard. Ah, the elusive Janus. Leader of the hacktivists. Am I ever gonna meet this guy? Someday, maybe. Right now you need to concentrate on Miller and find a way to access the NSM's motherboard. You're worse. Jesus, how fucked up is that to think, huh? Listen, Alex, my systems are acting up a little, so... I've gotta get checked, though. But if you want to meet, or... What? No. No, no, I'm fine, man. You just take care of you. This girl's built tough. Give me a call when you're useful again, okay? All right, I will. Talk to you soon. Okay. All right, there's a lot of shit going on. Goodness me, that was quite tense. Train station bombing. I mean, with all the cutscenes and everything, it looks absolutely brilliant. Anyway, um, been recording for just over an hour. Um, we've got some gameplay, we've got a lot of cutscenes. I hope you guys enjoyed the opening walkthrough. Anyway, do you know what? There's no doubt we're going to do another walkthrough of this. So we might just focus on this game this week. So, um... Yeah, we'll definitely, definitely carry on from here um, in the next video after Titanfall 2, of course, tomorrow, but we'll do that on Wednesday. Anyway, thank you. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, click the subscribe button for more content, including this game. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna get something to eat now because I've been sitting here for about an hour, so we'll definitely play more of this. Um, another time anyway thank you for watching i've been tired you've been awesome i will see you in the next video peace guys